we are going to focus on introducing IBM SPSS statistics. Now, SPSS, which is Statistical Package for Social Sciences, also known as IBM SPSS statistics, is a software package used for the analysis of statistical data. Now, once you open SPSS, what you see in front of you is a dialog box, which lets you open your existing sources of data, or otherwise you can open any other type of file as well if you want or you can run the tutorial type in data run an existing query or create a new query in this case let's type in the data now in this tutorial we are going to introduce SPSS and add um, or create a new file for data entry using a questionnaire now what we see around here is there are two tabs one is the data view and one is the variable view. Before going into the detail of the data view, let's see the variable view. A variable view lets you define your variables. So a variable will have a name, it will have a type, it will have width, how much data or characters or digits a variable will hold. Will it have any decimal points? label to explain the name of the variable sometimes the name of the variable might itself be not enough to explain what a variable or what sort of data the variable holds the probable values the variable might hold how do you identify the missing values the width of the column if the data is too much if it's a string or a large number you might need to increase the number of columns the alignment of the data to ensure the readability measure what scale of measurement does the data have? For instance, it could be nominal, ordinal, or just pure scale. And the role of the variable, is it input, is it target? So we'll look into these in a bit, a little bit. Now if you go to the data view, here we have cells. The variables are defined as columns or presented as columns, while rows provide data or response from an individual respondent or maybe an individual month, maybe a day, maybe an year. These are different tools or toolbar. We'll look into some of them. And here is your menu, file menu to create a new data set, open an existing file, in this case, if you want to save, once you define your variables, you can save the data, edit, and other menu items. Now, let's say we've got this questionnaire. And we want to define this questionnaire for data entry purposes in SPSS. Now, how do you define these variables? The first one, there is age, there is job tenure, there is gender, there is the university or institution from which the data is to be collected. Now let's define the variables. So once you open SPSS, you'll see two windows. There is this output window, which shows you the results of the analysis. So at this moment, we are concerned with this. So we go to variable view and we define our variable. Our first variable is age. And normally age is numeric. Well, by default, it's eight, eight uh, digits. So you keep it that way because we are not no short of space these days in our computers is age will not have any decimal points so there's no point uh, having two decimal points you can just put in zero now you do not need to add any label for this variable age because by itself the name is self-explanatory you do not need to explain what this variable will store values now if you see the question here here it is open-ended so the respondents are just adding their age. You can later transform them into classes. Then there is job tenure. Let's see. Job tenure. Now this gives you an error. Variable name contains an illegal character. This means that you cannot have space in the variable name. So job tenure. This is fine. 
again it is it is open ended so we keep it that way now age is actually a scale variable it's it's a uh, scale of measurement is interval and in spss interval and ratio is taken as scale job tenure it can be an interval level variable so you keep it as scale so we are going to input the data yes we are going to input the data third one is gender gender obviously it is either male or female it's not numeric but what since it's a statistical package for social sciences what we should do is we should assign numbers to the categories in this case how you do it is you go to these values press the button and one is for male and two is for female so you press add and you press okay and here it is okay now gender is a nominal variable now university was the last variable now again either if you have predefined a list of university it's always a good idea to give it values otherwise what you can do is store it as a string variable now the next part is once you have defined this demographic or the or the demographic variables the next part is to define these variables so now if we see that these variables are basically indicators or items for a particular latent variable in this case be behaving ethically has got five indicators or five items what we can do is we write be1 it's numeric yes and the values we'll do that in a moment and it's a ordinal variable be2 BE3, BE4, BE5. Now we have defined the five indicators for behaving ethically. Now, what we do not know what BE1 means, we do not know what BE2 means, we do not know what BE3 means, and same is for the rest of the item. So, what we can do is we can actually copy these statements and put them here. So, we just paste them, copy them from there. And just paste them here so those statements are copied and you can do this for the rest of the statements as well now we go to values and we've got a scale here it's a likert scale from 1 to 5 where 1 is a strongly disagree and 5 is a strongly agree so what we can do is for 1 strongly disagree for 2 disagree for 3 it's neutral for 4 it's agree and for five it's strongly agree okay now we do not need to do it for every single indicator so what you do is you just press ctrl c or copy it and select the rest of the items and paste it here so it's really easy now you do not need to do it for every single one of them and it's always a good idea to select your measures Okay, now there is one question that might come to your mind why is interval and ratio combined as scale because the measure of central tendency for interval and ratio level variables is mean while the measure of central tendency for nominal scale variables is mode and for ordinal scale variables is median that's why the interval and ratio have been combined into scale now once you define all these variables you can define the rest uh, of these variables as well or whatever variables are there in your uh, questionnaire so the next step is adding your data inserting your data so we come to data view and we can see here that these variables are defined separately as columns so what we can do is let's say i've got a questionnaire in my hand so what I do is I number it as number one. So numbering it will help me later if there is a mistake in data entry, I can track which questionnaire it is. So let's say the age is 26. 
job tenure is five years gender is one university is say uh, cui be they have okay, what was their response for question number one let's say they selected four or five or three whatever the number they selected so you just keep on adding these numbers four five four three four so this is how you define the variables and this is how you can enter your data into SPSS. Thank you very much.